Today on the channel, I'm going to show you how to play Talk Dirty to Me by Poison. everybody welcome back to the channel today we're going to learn how to play talk dirty to me by poison we're going way back to the 80s we're going to look at the hairspray the makeup the spandex the sex the drugs the rock and roll everything well not really we're just going to look at the guitar parts for talk dirty to me because you know what i hear a lot of bands playing this song incorrectly there's a lot of nuances and cool stuff that cc deville does in this song and i'm going to show you how to do it so let's get started okay the song is in the key of g major Poison were tuned a half a step down for look what the cat dragged in. Okay, so I'm tuned down half a step. So those of you that hate it when I tune down half a step to the record, I'm sorry. I got just the same amount of people that hate it when I don't tune down to the record. So today we're tuned down half a step. That way if you play to the track, you're already in tune. So my E flat is here. Okay. So but we're in the key of G, or in this case G flat. All right, so to get the sound for this, I'm running through my Fractal X8. I've got a delay set at 250 milliseconds to the left, 500 milliseconds to the right. I've got a hall reverb set at 10%, and I've got a stereo chorus running at, uh, well, it's pretty thick, man. CC DeVille's tone on this record was not great. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I never was a fan of this uh, tone of this record, but they're great songs. And if you lived in the 80s, you uh, know how great they were. And you can't deny that Poison weren't uh, a, a very, very important metal band in the 80s and part of that scene. Love them or hate them. Poison were a lot of fun, and to this day, they are still a successful band, so kudos to them. All right, so this song starts off with the riff that sounds like this. Okay, so what I'm doing is C to D, up to G. All right, we're doing power chords. There's a C power chord, a D power chord, and a G power chord. But we're going to slide into this G power chord by starting on the F sharp, just below it, like that. Okay? We're employing palm muting. Palm muting is when you use the side of your hand, you put it on your strings over the pickup. It also prevents your guitar from feeding back when you're using copious amounts of gain and you're playing through three Marshall stacks like C.C. DeVille did back in the day. Kind of like I do now in present day. All right, and we're doing palm muting throughout this whole song. So this technique is something you gotta get down for 80s metal, any kind of metal actually. Okay, so we're doing C. What I'm doing there is I'm kind of bouncing off the C. I'm going. And as I'm resting my hand on the pickup, I'm kind of letting off of the fretboard a little bit. I'm not playing the chord anymore. So I'm pressing down as I'm playing it. That first part is. We're going to slide into that D. It's not. We're not taking our hand off the fretboard. Okay, so it's like that. Slowly, we're going. All right, and then we're going to go big who chord. Okay? And then we're going to pick slide. 
goes a really long time. Be prepared to throw your pick out in the audience to the hot chick in the front row because you're going to put grooves in the pick. So be prepared. Us 80s metal guitarists always had 45 picks on the front of our mic stand so that we could we could grab another pick when we ruined them because we were going to do at least five pick slides in every song. All right, And our set had about 20 songs in it, so we needed about 100 picks. All right, so be prepared. You're going to ruin the pick. So once again, that pick slide is like four bars, man. All right, so the verse, it's going to go something like this. All right, we're going to be doing G, D, C. And back to G. And now we're gonna we're not gonna play our G power chord up here anymore. And we're not gonna play it here. We're gonna play an inversion of it right here. So that's on the D and the G string. It's on the fifth and seventh. There's a lot of G string action in poison, okay? So anyway, we're gonna be going. Okay, and that's one pass through the verse. So what we're doing there is we're chugging along on this G. So what I got to do here is put my palm on the pickup. So I'm going to be plucking these two strings. I'm going to be chugging along, palm muting a little bit. A little bit right there. Same, same technique for the D. C. Now the main difference here is this G chord is just root and fifth, two strings. The D chord is a, is a bar chord with root, fifth, and root. And the same thing with a C. All right, and then it goes to this five, and it repeats back to the same thing. That doesn't really matter. On the record, CC most of the time goes... But when you're in the moment, you're on stage, you're playing it, it doesn't really matter if you're going... Eighth notes are fine. Once in a while, those accents are cool. And then sometimes not putting accents in is cool to break it up a little bit, all right? And now, when he does that turnaround where he goes back to this D, back to the, back before he plays that verse again, he goes... There's a little thing that he does up here. He goes like this, here. So I'm up here on is a, a D. That's a D chord. All right? I'm going... I'm going to take the, the minor third on the G. It goes 10 to 11. And then a double stop on here. And then I'm going to play that D on the 12th fret on the, the D string. That's on that little turnaround of the verse where he's going... Okay, and now he does this little thing. Sometimes he goes. What I'm doing there is I'm I'm gonna instead of playing this power D, I'm gonna take my pointer finger and play the the D and the G string on the seventh fret. I take my ring finger and play the ninth fret on the G. So I'm gonna. So I'm, instead of playing this D sometimes, but here CC do this little riff. It's a little 
trick he does there on the D chord. Nothing fancy, but it kind of breaks up the monotony of the chugging on the verse, okay? So there's little things throughout the song like that. All right, so then the chorus goes at the drive, just like the beginning. One more time. Minor, C, A, oh, dirty, didn't we? So once again, that chorus goes. back through the verse again and back through a full chorus all right and then when he goes into the guitar solo let's take a look at the guitar solo the guitar solo is actually it's a lot of fun it's it's mostly in g major but there's some cool pull-offs in it and there's some harmony stuff that he does with himself so let's take a look at it so um, before he plays a solo they build up on a five chord which is the d he goes and brett goes cc pick up that guitar and talk to me so it's gonna go So let me show you that guitar solo. He builds up on the D. Now learn the solo in phases, all right? There's little sections. So we're going to go like... That's the first section. Learn this part. So it's going to go... So we're doing double stops. We're on the fifth fret, on the G and the B string. And we're going to be on the fourth and the third, then the second and the first, then open G and B. So we're going to slide into it. So get that part down. Okay, next part we're going to go... So we're going to be up here. We're going to be on the, the B and the E string on the 8th and the 7th. So it's going to be... And then we're going to go down to the 7th and the 5th. Then the 5th and the 3rd. So those three. And then on the G and the B, 7th fret, 5th fret, G and the B. 4th and 3rd on the G and the B, 2nd and the 1st on the G and the B, then open G and B. So. Then this beginning part again. Like that, alright, and then he's going to go. So what that is, is 7th fret on the G and the B, then the 9th and the 8th on the G and the B, then the 11th and the 10th on the G and the B, and then the, the uh, 12th on the G and the B. It's really nice to learn this stuff because you kind of learn like scales. You learn the scale stuff, but you learn the major thirds above these notes. So it's really cool when you try to do harmonies later and in songs and write your own solo. So from the very beginning, we're going. this little flutter pick. And we're going to be up here in the C minor pentatonic position and do the Chuck Berry lick. We're going to be up here in the C position. We're going to do the Chuck Berry thing. So what I'm doing there is I'm on the uh, 10th fret and I'm bending this G string up a whole step. 
going to do a double stop on the 8th fret on the B and the E. And sometimes when you bend this, he'll, he'll do it like this. You're going to bend the G and the B together. Or the G and the, the B stays where it's at on the 8th fret. When you bend this G string up a whole step, they make a unison. So slowly. Okay, now we're going to do this pull off thing that goes. And that's really, really easy. So we're going to be on the three and two and open on the high E. Like that. Then we're going to do a three, two on the B string. So, so learn this phrase all the way through. And then we're going to go 4 2 open on the G, then 4 2 open on the D string. So, so that's four in a row. And then we're going to go back to the G string and go. We're going to do the same thing and then go 3 2 0, 3 2 0 on the A and E. All right, so. It, D string, we're on the seventh, nine, chromatic up, up to the twelfth. Stop and then go on the G string on the fourteenth. We're gonna bend up a whole step and bend it down. So we go to the twelfth. So an octave on the 15th fret on the high E, then we're going to go 10th fret on the high E, then we're going to hit the G on the B string on the 8th, then we're going to hit the D on the G string on the 7th, and then hit the G string, or the G note on the D string on the 5th fret. So it's kind of interesting. So after that solo, they go to that. They hit an F on the second time in that chorus. So right after that, they're going to go into the chorus as normal. Now they're going to do something different. F, which is right there. Then C. C minor. Just like normal. So that last time is G, 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 G minor. Baby. Now watch. They, they do a chromatic thing. The first time they go G minor, but then the second time they go chromatic down and bass. Talk dirty to me. All right, and then there's a C.C. DeVille solo that goes. Something like that. So what he's doing there is he's up in the uh, G minor pentatonic position. But we're going to be on the top three frets. So we're going to do like the Chuck Berry thing like we did on the C. So we're going to be up here in the G position. So slow down, that's a, we're going to bend these two notes in unison on 17 and fit the 17 on the G and the 15 on the B. We're, we're going to bend the 17th fret up. All right. Then we're going to hit the 
15th fret on the high E. And then we're going to hit the 18th fret. We're going to hit the 18th fret on the B string and pull off to the 15th on the B string. So slowly it's... It's almost like Ace Freely. Very similar, but it, it's missing a note. And then he's going to be up here on the uh, 20th. He's going to bend it up a whole step. Then we're going to go back down to the 17th fret and bend it up half a step. Make that major third. Alright, so there you go. There's Talk Dirty to Me by Poison. A great song to learn. A lot of cool licks. A lot of cool wrists from the 80s. I hope that you enjoyed the lesson. If you did, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a whole lot. Comment below. And as always, have a great day. Peace out.